I'm Pete Townsend, famous for guitar playing and composing in The Who, but I'm also a, a studio mad person, like probably most of you that are watching. <laughs> With SSL, it wasn't just the automation, it was the sense that you had uh, compression in every channel, uh, the EQ, you could build a sound almost out of nothing. You could take you know, the sound of somebody hitting a, a cardboard box and turn it into a bass drum, that kind of thing. It was a very creative tool. What I loved about the idea of the console one was firstly the fact that it came with the SSL. That was primarily what it came with, although Softube makes a lot of fabulous plugins themselves, but was the fact that it's like an SSL in a box, you know, the compressor, the the EQ, the, the even the drive uh, control. It enables me to sit in the sweet spot in the studio between the speakers and EQ and compress and master uh, stuff that I've been working on. That's kind of what attracted me to it. Also, it's big enough, it's not so too big to go into a backpack uh, or into a small suitcase rig that I might take on the road. The SSL modeling inside console one is its leading feature. It's what comes up when you first plug the unit, unit in. One of the things about the console one is, is that it's the SSL sound. I'm pretty sure it's as close an emulation as I've ever heard. And the knobs are the right size, you know, they're manipulatable. It does have a real sense of working with SSL. You have to get into the channel and start working with it and building something out of it. As soon as you move a knob on an SSL console, the con console, the sound tends to come to life, whatever you do. In the Softube collection of plugins, there's a whole load of amazing stuff that I'm still coming to grips with. I'm more recently, delighted UA audio plugins are now controllable from the, the console one. One thing that I found myself doing quite a lot is, which is incredibly easy on console one, is parallel processing. You can bang the compressor on flat out until it's pumping the way you want it to sound. And then you just add in the untreated signal, the uncompressed signal, until it comes back to life again with some sizzle and some sparkle. It's so easy. It's so easy. It's one knob. And that knob is not on the SSL console, uh, which is a pity. I was going to suggest they added it. Done? Brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Good.